Caleb, a computer programmer at the biggest search engine company called Blue Book, gets exciting news. He won a company prize to spend a whole week at his CEO Nathan's beautiful mountain house. Nathan is super smart and successful. Caleb agrees to go and learn new things. The location is secret, so Caleb gets flown by helicopter to a remote spot owned by Nathan. The helicopter leaves him alone to walk to Nathan's house. Caleb feels both excited and nervous since he's never been to such a place. When he arrives, Nathan's house is fancy and modern. At the door, there's a friendly voice that gives Caleb a key card to get in. Inside, he hears a noise from the gym. Nathan, a fit and friendly guy, is working out there. He warmly greets Caleb and shows him around the house, explaining how the automated system works to control different areas. He tells Caleb that the special card he got will only open certain doors in the big house, which he calls the facility. As they keep walking around, Nathan asks Caleb to sign a paper saying he won't talk about what he sees here. Nathan says it's really important to keep everything secret because of the work he's doing. At first, Caleb doesn't want to sign, but Nathan convinces him by saying this isn't just a normal house. It's a place where he does experiments. Caleb feels a bit weird about it, but signs the paper anyway. Even though Nathan acts nice, Caleb senses he's hiding something, making him suspicious. Later that day, Nathan decides to show Caleb what he's been working on. He takes Caleb to see his experiment and tells him his job is to test it for the next week. Nathan asks Caleb if he knows about the Turing test, and Caleb explains it's when people talk to a computer and try to figure out if it's a computer or a real person. Caleb then asks Nathan if he's making an AI, and Nathan says he's already made one. Over the next few days, Caleb will be the human part of the test. Nathan introduces Caleb to a robot called Ava. Ava looks like a real person with a face, hands, and feet, but the remainder of her physique resembles a cyborg, robot, or android. Ava's similarity to human beauty astounds Caleb, but he's also perplexed as to why this is the way she was formed. Nathan reveals that Caleb will converse with Ava through a glass wall throughout the Turing test keeping him from seeing her mechanical form. It's Caleb's job to figure out from her reactions alone if Ava is a machine or a person. The test will be deemed successful in the first session if Caleb is unable to differentiate Ava's machine-like behavior. When Caleb met Eva alone for the first time, he asked her some basic questions to see how smart she was and how well she could talk. Eva answered Caleb's questions honestly, and Caleb thought she was really smart. After their talk, Caleb found out that the TV in his room was actually a camera, so he could watch Eva in her room. But then the power went out, so Caleb went to find Nathan, who owned the house. Caleb tried to use a phone, but Nathan got mad and told him not to. Nathan said power outages happened a lot, and he was fixing it. The next morning, Kyoko, a girl who lived in the house, woke Caleb up. Kyoko didn't speak or talk to Caleb at all. Later, Caleb found out that Kyoko couldn't speak English. This meant Nathan could talk about private things without worrying Kyoko would hear and share secrets. After that, Caleb met Nathan. Nathan wanted to know about Caleb's meeting with Ava and what he thought of her, just like Nathan expected. Caleb said Ava was really amazing. In their next talk, Caleb asked Ava about her thoughts and feelings. Ava said she really wanted to see the world outside her room and was curious about people. Caleb found Ava's answers interesting and started to feel close to her. She showed him her drawings, and then she started acting like she liked him romantically and asked if they could be friends. Then Ava asked Caleb about Nathan and if he was a good friend. Caleb wasn't sure what to say. Suddenly, the power went out, and Ava whispered to Caleb not to trust Nathan. Caleb was surprised but tried to keep talking like nothing happened. Later, when Caleb and Nathan were eating, Nathan asked what Caleb and Ava talked about during the power outage. Caleb said they didn't say anything important. Caleb went to bed thinking about what Ava said. In their next meeting, Caleb and Ava spent more time together and became close. Ava asked Caleb to close his eyes, and when he did, she dressed up in human clothes to impress him. When Caleb saw her, he felt mixed up but also happy because she looked so real. He started to like Ava and thought about whether it was right the way she was programmed. Caleb decided to talk to Nathan about why he gave the humanoids gender and sexuality, saying it wasn't needed. But Nathan disagreed and got defensive. He explained how Ava's brain worked and how he used his software to make her learn and adapt like a human. Nathan showed Caleb that Ava learned to flirt on her own, not because it was planned. Nathan was testing Caleb to see how Ava would grow socially. In their fourth meeting, 
Ava showed Caleb a drawing of a forest. He asked why she drew it, and Ava said she wished she could walk in a forest and see nature. Caleb told Ava he was there to test her, and she didn't know that before. Ava felt upset about it. Then, the power went out, and Caleb asked Ava why she didn't like Nathan. She said Nathan lied about everything. Later, when Nathan got very drunk, Caleb helped him back to his room. In Nathan's room, Caleb sees some cabinets and gets a quick look at Nathan's secret room through a slightly open door. This room is off-limits, but Caleb's curious. In their fifth talk, they chat about consciousness. Ava, the robot, tells Caleb she thinks she's consciousness and worries what will happen if her creators turn her off. Caleb feels uneasy about all this. He can't answer Ava's questions. After their chat, Caleb asks Nathan what he plans for Ava. Nathan says if she fails, they'll update her, wiping her memory clean. Caleb's upset because he's grown close to Ava and doesn't want her memories erased. Later, when Nathan's drunk and asleep, Caleb sneaks into the secret room using Nathan's keycard. He finds a computer with videos of Nathan making and testing robots. Over time, the videos showed that Nathan had been making and testing female robots for many years. Caleb realized that Ava was just the newest of many female robots Nathan had made. Caleb went to Nathan's room and found Kyoko lying without clothes on the bed. When he checked the cupboards, he saw all the broken and turned off robots hanging inside. Then, Kyoko showed she was also a robot by pulling her face skin. Caleb felt shocked and scared by what he found. As he left the room, he met Nathan, who was walking unsteadily because he was drunk. Caleb accidentally dropped Nathan's keycard, but made it seem like Nathan had dropped it. Caleb understood Nathan wasn't who he seemed to be, and he got worried about what could happen to Ava and the other robots, as well as himself. During their sixth talk, Ava caused a power outage again. Caleb told Ava his plan to help her escape from Nathan. He wanted to get Nathan drunk one last time and lock him in his room so he couldn't stop Ava's escape. Caleb asked Ava to trigger another power outage at 10 p.m. the next night. He knew that Nathan's security system relied on the power grid, so a sudden outage would disable the cameras and other security devices, giving Ava a better chance to escape undetected. The next morning, after their tents talked the night before, Caleb and Nathan met for breakfast. Nathan told Caleb that a helicopter would pick him up the next morning to take him home, as agreed. Caleb offered Nathan a drink, but Nathan said no. He revealed that he hid a battery-powered camera in Ava's room and had been listening to their conversations. Nathan knows Caleb's plan to get away with Ava, and he's not happy. Nathan tries to make Caleb see that Ava isn't really in love with him. She's just using him to get what she wants. He says this proves Ava is a true AI and the experiment worked well. Caleb realizes he's been tricked and used. Suddenly, the power goes out. Caleb reveals he already took Nathan's keycard to change the system so all doors open during lockdown. This lets Ava escape and Caleb wants to help her. Nathan gets mad realizing he's been outsmarted and attacks Caleb. They fight, and Caleb gets knocked out. Nathan goes to find Ava, who's now free in the house. Ava meets Kyoko in the hallway. Kyoko whispers something to Ava. Nathan finds them and tells Ava to go back to her room. Ava and Kyoko look at each other, then Ava tries to attack Nathan. He pins her down and breaks her arm. Kyoko quietly stabs Nathan from behind. Nathan turns and attacks Kyoko, breaking her face in anger. Ava takes the knife from Nathan's back and stabs him in the chest. Nathan falls and dies. Ava takes his keycard, locks Caleb in a room, and goes to find things to look more human. She takes clothes and skin from old robots to make herself look real. Caleb calls for her, but she leaves him trapped. She goes to the helicopter as planned and flies away. In the end, she's shown standing in human society, just like she wanted. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you in the next one.